Hey, boys and girls, this is Larry, UBRailroad.com. Check me out. Today is January 19th, cold, cold, and more cold. Today, I'm going to show you how I make my water tanks. Water tanks are as simple as sneezing. The only thing is, they take time, and you need a little patience with the way I do it. There's other ways, there's a million ways to make tanks, but I'm showing you my way. Okay, here I've got two pieces of uh, two inch PVC. They weren't uh, high enough, so I glued two together. And then I cut a whole bunch of these, uh, a whole bunch of these. Uh, they're gonna be like, eh, maybe like a two by, eh, more like a three by six or something to that effect. And I glue them all along like this. Now what I do to glue these so that I've got plenty of set time and I'm not gluing each piece and sticking it down is I because I painted it black oops painted it black I'll take uh, my black silicone and I put two little beads all the way around it. Now that's good for about 15 minutes before it starts crusting and within that 15 minute time you should be able to get all of these set up and then once you do get them set up you could adjust them. Uh, if they're crooked, straighten them. If they're straight, you could crook at them. Whatever you want to do. But a uh, simple little project. These go everywhere. Everybody had them on their rooftops back in the time era that I do model. And all the way up until the 40s, 50s. So you could use these everywhere. But not everybody used wooden ones, okay? But I'm just showing you how to build a wooden water tower. This will sit on top of... My sawmill. It'll sit up there like that. And then, of course, you got to have ladders on the other side. I mean, you know, ladders are in everything, but that's a different video. But anyway, just thought I'd uh, get started here, show you how the water tower goes together the way I do it. See if it works. Great. If not, this is Larry over and out. Okay, I'm back. Here's a little tip that I forgot to mention to you. After you put your two rows of glue around there and you get a few slats started throw a rubber band around the middle so you don't get the glue and then this this will also help hold things for you because as you get going it, it's going to twist I guarantee you it's going to twist on you now what I did is I made this cool little tool that I'm going to patent it's the ass end of one of those utility flag sticks I got a zillion of them. I use them for everything because look at the rust in it. I mean, man, you can't you can't duplicate that uh, texturing, that aging. But anyway, you see that? Put a little bend on it. Then what I do is I stick it right next to the first one. And then I, with my knuckles, I hold it, pull it apart, and stick it right on in there. And then you can keep it in there. If it doesn't fall out, make the lip bigger. Then it'll stay. But anyway. Just wanted to show that to you. Uh, yeah, you can see I'm kind of getting finished here. I'll be back in a minute. I'm back. <clears throat> I forgot to tell you when you use the silicone, the bad thing is it takes a while to dry. Okay, so this is something that you want to just build, throw it off to the side, and start something new. Like I'm starting the ladder for the uh, side of the uh, water tower. I have found an easy way to do this is first of all put a strip of wood about the height and the length that your ladder run should be. Then cut two pieces of wood that match that. Then take one of these good old clips, hold it all together. Now you can see I've got little markings there. That's where each one of my sticks or my my runs will go. Stick. Okay, so you see, you see how that's going to look. So then when you're all done, everything should be pretty uniform. You know, if a step is shade crooked, nobody's going to see that. And that'll be okay. Now, the way I glue this is I do take some of that super glue or CV glue, whatever you want to call it. And I put it on a dab of paper. And then I take a toothpick and I dab the backs of it. Then I put it on there because if you overlap on the back with the D, with the CV glue, you can't you 
nobody's gonna see this okay not even the bugs in your house are gonna see this so don't worry about if you get too much it's not something you got to wipe off and then that's something that you could be done with in a matter of a short period of time that being said I'll be right back okay I'm back there you go voila one ladder okay now what I did is any way you want to do it <coughs> excuse me is I made all the straight edges the best I can go this way. Because like I said, those people weren't idiots. You know, like you take this piece right there, okay? They, they probably wouldn't have turned it the other way unless it was just a really wore out ladder. But anyway, I just wanted to show you, still letting this dry. So now we're gonna move on, be back. Okay, I'm back, just throwing another little tip. Uh, when building ladders, you might want to take a uh, wooden ruler. I cut mine to 18 inches, which would be, you know, or I cut mine three quarters of an inch, which would be about 18 inches, okay? Then you could just stick it in here, put your sides up, put your clamps on it, and then you could actually use that as markings. I get my rulers free. As you can see, I got a whole pile of them down there, so that was my sacrificial uh, ruler, but just another helpful hint. Be right back. Hey, back. Okay, there's my ladders. I got all three ladders. I'm kind of the ladder king now. Uh, but you can see how that's going to go. And then after that tank up there dries, I'll run some plumbing. Uh, I'll make some kind of configuration of uh, use some round discs or something to look like a little tranny, make a little pump to pump water from the log pond up to there and then I'll run another one that will drain down inside the sawmill so they could fill the uh, uh, boiler on the uh, um, the steam engine so kind of get an idea of what I'm doing uh, I think that's probably all I need to tell you about on this video so I hope this helps I hope somebody uh, has questions I'm fire away I'm here this is Larry over and out.